Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to take a look at the differences between POP and IMAP when connecting to your mailbox. Before we can look at the differences between POP and IMAP, we first need to look at how email actually works. When you bought your mailbox with Fastos or any other provider, you've essentially bought some space on a mail server. That mail server is maintained by your hosting provider and when someone sends you a mail it goes to that server. In order to then view the mail that you've been sent, you need to connect to the server. You can either do this by connecting via web browser, so going to a URL and entering your email address and password, and that's quite a common one, or if you've got a mobile device or a laptop or a computer, you can use a mail client on there to download the mail to your device and read it on there. If you're connecting to your mailbox using a web browser, you don't really need to worry about POP and IMAP because you're connecting directly to the server and therefore not downloading any mail at all. But if you're downloading mail using a mail client, then you need to know the differences between POP and IMAP. We'll start by looking at POP. When one of your devices connects to the mail server using POP, it simply just downloads a copy of that email. You can set the settings so that it then deletes the copy of the mail on the mail server as well, so the only copy of that email resides on the device that connected to the mail server. There is no synchronization between your device and the server, so if there's a copy of the mail on the server and a copy of the mail on your device, if you delete the mail on your device, it will not delete the copy on the server. If you use multiple devices to manage that mailbox, if you delete the mail on one, it will not delete it across any of the other devices. Generally speaking, if you only use one device to connect to your mailbox, then it's probably a good solution to use POP. However, if you use more than one device to access your mail, so a mobile phone and a laptop for example, POP isn't really the best solution, because if you read a mail on one device, it won't show as read on the other, and if you delete a mail on one device, it won't be deleted on the other one. So it actually makes managing your mailbox much harder. It was traditionally used when your mail server doesn't have too much space for storing mail, so you download the mail onto your desktop or laptop, and then the mail would be deleted off the server, so you could live with a small mailbox that only had 100 megabytes, because all your email would actually be stored outside of the mailbox on your device. Now let's take a look at IMAP. IMAP is more of a synchronization, so any mail that are on the mail server will be synchronized with any mailboxes connected using IMAP. If you delete a mail off one of those devices, it will get deleted everywhere, on the server and on the other devices that are connected using IMAP. It can also synchronise your calendars and your contacts, so it makes managing your mailbox much easier if you have multiple devices. The problem with IMAP can come from space. If you've got a small mailbox, then you have to delete mail from all of your devices and the server in order to save space, which can mean you end up losing emails for good. If you had POP, you can download them all to a local device that has a big hard drive and store a lot more email. And that's the main differences between POP and IMAP. Just remember, you have to choose when you connect your device to that mailbox whether it uses POP or IMAP, and it can't be changed later on. You have to re-add the mailbox if you want to change it. Remember, it's possible to have some devices connected using IMAP and some using POP. If you do this, you can run into problems with mail not syncing. For example, if you'd read a mail on a device connected via POP, it's not going to sync with the devices connected using IMAP. So it's generally recommended to stick to one protocol. If you're finding that one mailbox is downloading mail and then none of the other mailboxes are downloading it, it's possible that you've connected that mailbox using POP and it's then deleting the mail from the server when it's downloaded. So that's quite a common troubleshooting tip. And that's the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now. 